I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of hearing about the AMD BC250 at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and make a video on it too. I was able to rustle up two complete cases of these things, so each one of these boxes is a 4U server case with rails, essentially. It has two common slot um, great wall power supplies in it. It has room for four. Uh, it is a little bit on the noisy side, but inside, what's really important is 12 PCIe style cards with no edge connector on them. And each one of those cards is, it is an Oberon APU, so people are correct. It is the exact same BGA form factor and package size as a PS5. However, these are cut down. Um, they are defective units, so they're fused down from eight cores to six. And the GPU is also fused down a little bit. However, they do still have 16 gigabytes of total memory. Eight gigabytes of that goes to the CPU component and eight gigabytes goes to it, uh, the GPU component in a dedicated uh, fashion, which is really, really interesting. And it actually has a dedicated memory bus as well for the GPU. So this is an APU, but it behaves a lot more like a dedicated CPU and a dedicated GPU in a single package. Enough about that. Let me get one of these inside. We'll open it up. We'll rip one out and we'll take a look at it. So here's what opening a brand new ASRock BC250 uh, looks like, I guess. <laughs> what a great noise. Well, she's double boxed for her pleasure. And there you have it. There's the, the rail set on top, I believe. Yep, it sure does look like rails. And this little box, I don't actually know. Let's open that up real quick. Looks like cable management <clears throat> and some screws for the rack install hardware. Well, the first thing I'll say is it's a lot smaller um, in person than I was expecting. Here's an average sized shoe since, you know, Americans will use anything but the metric system. Up front, looks like we have five 80 millimeter Delta style fans, some rack ears. And at the back, we can see all 12 blades, <clears throat> excuse me, and two. Uh, populated great wall power supplies and again the board actually does support two more if you need these power supplies will run on 120 or 240 however they're only good for a thousand watts on 120 and 1200 watts on 240 so i'm going to continue to unearth this thing take off the delicious just kidding do not eat <laughs> silica gel um and i'm going to get it popped open i'd like to pull just one of the blades out to do some individual testing all right, I pulled two Phillips screws out of the back. That's all there was. Wow, look at that. We got some pre-applied greasy fingerprints. Very nice. But wow, that is that is tight. These are maybe not even quite two slots. So if you were planning to try to use this as a server case, you know, with PCI GPUs in it, which potentially is possible, I think you'd be limited to six, maybe eight two slot cards but i digress kind of cool from the images it was hard to tell but it looks like the power connectors are actually on the back plane directly i thought these cards would be flipped and they'd have the connectors on the top but this actually makes way more sense you can see each one of them has a bios cr2032 battery on it the fans are Sorry, that's upside down for you, but hopefully you could read that. They are Cooler Master, very high velocity fans. The PSU, I will show you. Just take a screenshot if you need, but again, they do work on 120 as well as 240. They are a little bit narrower than an H HPE common slot or a Delta. But anyway, I'm going to rip one of these cards out and probably just do the middle one. Or maybe the one that has the most fingerprints on it. That might be our winner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. All right, I'm learning more and more about this as I unearth. <laughs> Obviously, everyone's done content on these, but there's still stuff I'm learning. So the actual connectors, the edge connectors on the motherboard, not edge connectors, they are not the standard 8-pin. These are the self-centering, like, mini 8s. I've never seen that before. They will, however, work on a standard 8-pin. And that's what I'm planning to do. Looks like the rack ear just unscrews, which is nice. And uh, I don't know. I, I wish I had a GPU here just to hold up to it, but I get the impression that 
the PCI isolate, the, there actually might be room to run a riser in here. However, you would need to run a GPU that has the power connectors on the back, like a BC250 or something like that. Fascinating. Looks like the fans are direct connected to the motherboard down there, which means I'm not sure if they have fan control or if they just run full speed. But yeah, here is the BC250 board. There are shots of people that have taken the heatsink off, but there's a chipset right under here. And then there's a monolithic die right there. And then the back plate has all of the memory heat sinking. There are four kind of in a circular pattern on each side. And again, four of those modules, each one of them are two gigabyte or 16 gigabit are for the CPU component and the GPU component separately. So it's not a unified memory situation like most APUs or even like a newer Apple Silicon Mac or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to get one of these hooked up. I do have a 2280 with Windows loaded on it. I'm actually most curious about the gaming performance on this, but the mining performance is something I will definitely look at too. Well, here's first boot, and I do have it hooked into a PMD on my test bench. So we'll monitor power and everything, but I'm going to get a fan set up first things first. I do have it booting into Hive, but I also need to find an Ethernet cable, which hopefully I have one that will fit over here. We'll see. But yeah, right now this thing is booting into Hive, so let's give it a go. Well, that's almost 220 watts, but it does indeed mine. There are only a couple of mining softwares that actually seem to support this, but honestly, the eHash performance is pretty good. You can see we're doing 50.13 mega hash there, and then Virus uh, is quite a bit better, in my opinion, on these because of the cache limitation. So let me shut down this noisy boy once I've gone through as much as I can. Let's see what it will and will not mine, and then hopefully I don't completely cook it doing this, but... We'll go over exactly what this thing is and how it performs in a sec. One quick thing I noticed before we get into it any deeper, it does look like there are a few core states, but we can't do anything with the memory, the SOC, or the F clock. Well, I shut it down so I could hear me think, and so you guys could at least hear me. It is cool. You can actually soft power this thing down with the 8 pin still connected. And the little green LED on the bottom is a power switch as well, but you can do wake alarm with these, which I think it's kind of neat, which means they also very likely support wake on LAN. So the actual sheet here, unfortunately, I'm holding a camera up to a screen, but you can at least take a quick look. Basically, the gist is you do have core control, you do have voltage control. However, there is a table. So these default to 1500 megahertz on the core. They default to about 837 millivolts on the core and 900 megahertz effective 450 on the memory clock. So really, you're kind of throwing away power at 1500, and you should step it up to 2000 because you do typically get better efficiency there. However, if you're dual mining, sometimes the 1500 default is better. So it's a little bit all over the place. The efficiency is actually really good. The problem with these is there's so much overhead on the VRM and the board itself from the chipset that you're really not getting all that great of efficiency. So if we look at things like ETH hash, we're still getting 0.276 efficiency, which is 20, like it's a good 20 series, or sorry, a good 10 series or a really bad 20 series efficiency on ETH hash. So last cycle, pretty good, but right now pretty bad. Um, straight up Elephium, it's terrible, 4.2, you know, we'd be expecting to see 18 on a good day. So again, are these worth it for mining? <laughs> I'm not really sure. There's a lot more that we could do with an unlocked BIOS. So there is still hope for these things. And then there's also a spec mining coin that uses CPU and GPU together. But if you're doing straight up ETH hash and you tune it and you're also CPU mining at the same time, these are, they're okay. They're okay. So, I mean, it, look at these effectively with the, okay, it's an, it's a Zen 2 APU on a board. So this, I mean, you could put windows on this and hack a driver onto it and use it as a little gaming PC. You could run a Linux server on this thing. It does have a lot of use cases. Again, the main thing I come back to is the idle power is so high, about 87 watts, that it 
I don't know. This is in no man's land. I bought it just because it was fun to play around with it, but is this worth buying? Yeah, if you've got really cheap power or you need like a discreet for you server rack mounted thing that nobody knows what it is and you got free power there, sure. Yeah, these might make sense, but I don't know. The BC250 is a very, very interesting thing and I'm happy I bought them. I'm happy I have 20 of these things, sorry, 24, but what am I going to do with them? I don't know. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like it's really worth me using these just because I have so many efficient cards just sitting doing nothing. But again, for spec mining plays, there's nothing wrong with these. I mean, they're more efficient than like a P106. So I mined with P106s. I still mine with P106s. These, these definitely have value, and I really like the fact that they are not limited to mining, and they're not limited to a single uh, algo. So they're, they're more interesting to me than an ASIC in that sense. So that's my short quip on the BC250. This is a very low quality video, which is why it's going out the way that it is. But yeah, man, that's kind of where I'm at on this. I'll do more testing as things maybe unlock, but that's where we are right now with the BC250.